All right, so similar to some of our previous labs, we are again going to work with um, a huge data set. Um, so we are essentially working with this series um, big data. Uh, what if we had um, access to 1 million observations, right? So for, to do this, we are using a package that is not on CRAN anymore. We are using the same causal package. Uh, you can simply download the same causal, causal package from the GitHub, uh, from the original authors uh, repository. In here, what we are basically doing is that we are basically generating a DAG where we have the exposure variable, the mediator variable, and the outcome variable. And we are generating all of these um, from various distributions. And um, basically all of these are continuous variables. So we are generating them from con uh, normal distribution with various parameters. So we plot them and we can see this, this A is affecting M, M is affecting Y, and this A is also affecting Y. So A is the exposure, Y is the outcome, and M is in the causal pathway. So M is the mediator in our case. So we generate our 1 million observation, and this is the first six rows. And then we fit three different regressions, right? As we have seen in our lecture. Um, the first regression is basically a crude regression, which will give us the total effect. And then we are running um, outcome on exposure and the mediator, which will give us the direct effect. And uh, we also fit a mediation model on the exp exposure variable and we are saving all of our coefficients. So this is from the first model. Um, 1.55 this is from the second and adjusted model 1.3 again from the second and adjusted model uh, for mediator 0 0.5 and this is from the third model for the mediation model for the mediator model a uh, coefficient of a is 0 0.5 so remember what baron and kenny said is that whatever variable that is coming from the second model uh, say for example this model in this model, when we address, uh, adjust for M, uh, what is the coefficient? The coefficient is 1.3. What is the total effect? What do I mean by the total effect? When I run A on, uh, sorry, Y on A, and then 1.55 is the total effect, right? So what is the indirect effect? We are simply, um, making a subtraction from the total effect to the uh, direct effect and this is giving us the indirect effect of 0 0.25 using the approach one remember what was our approach two our approach two was using the mediator model and the uh, coefficient of m from the second model and we are doing that we are multiplying the uh, coefficient from the second model and also the uh, coefficient of a from the third model or the mediator model and we are getting the exact same result of the indirect effect uh, no matter whether we are using the approach one or approach two our results are exactly the same remember what was the case here our case was that we are generating continuous outcome uh, and our mediator was continuous and of course our um, exposure variable was also continuous. Now consider a second scenario where we have a binary outcome and then we have a continuous mediator, right? Everything is same, only the only difference is that our uh, Y or outcome is being generated by a uh, Bernoulli distribution. And then the DAG looks like the same, we are again fitting three different regression, Y on A, Y on A and M, and M on A. And using the uh, Baron Kenny approach, uh, we are getting our direct effect from the second model. We're getting that total effect from the first model as the, we have shown earlier. And the difference between these two is giving us the indirect effect. But when we are using the approach two, 
uh, from the third model and the second model uh, coefficients we are getting a different indirect effect right so the approach one is not really giving us the um, estimate that we were hoping for um, in the when when our uh, outcome was binary now consider a third scenario where we have a binary outcome and a binary mediator so the only variable that uh, was continuous was the uh, exposure variable and in this case we again generate the data in same way uh, m is the mediator and we feed the same regression model y on a y on a plus m and m on a and we try to estimate the baron kenya uh, estimate the indirect effect from the approach one this is giving us 0.04 and when we estimate using the indirect effect we are getting 0.25 so at least for the approach one we are not really getting the estimate that we were hoping for so just to um, compare all of the results one more time uh, see in the continuous outcome continuous mediator scenario we are getting same indirect effect uh, from approach one and two right when we had um, binary outcome and continuous mediator we can see the estimates from the indirect effects are different and then when we use the binary outcome and binary mediator we can see the estimate from the indirect effect from approach one and indirect effect from approach two are not the same so only the in the scenario when we have continuous outcome then we got our uh, both of the baron kenny approaches were giving us the same indirect effect estimate